I've noticed that there are no videos at all of the Commodore B-Series line that I could see. This is a movie about some Commodore equipment featuring the Commodore B-128, a Commodore CBM model D9090 hard drive, with a also with a model 8050 disk drive, and a 1571 disk that drive that you would normally see on the uh, Commodore 64 and 128. So, if I hit F8, that's the that's the short key for uh, the directory. And um, this is a menu program that I use. It's installed on the hard drive, and you can see it loaded pretty quickly. Okay, and there we go. It's loaded up. And what's great about this little menu program is it gives me the ability to um, just simply uh, type the number of the program that I want to run, which in this case is number 14. So I just hit 1, 4, and hit enter. And so now what's happened is the D9090 now thinks it's drive uh, 9. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the, um, uh, the uh, Commodore uh, model 8050 drive and activate that and uh, load a program that will bridge between the 1571 and the B series. Okay, you can see it's firing up. Okay, hit shift run stop on the keyboard and that activates the 8050 drive because the D9090 is no longer. We go at the, the, the serial bus program device here called a uh, um, IEEE to serial um, converter. Um, they call it the fast bus. So if I flip the switch, format a uh, diskette in a B series computer or anything that's running uh, basic 4 or 7. Okay, it's asking me if I am sure. I say yes, hit enter. And then you can see over here. We're now formatting a disk. So it's completely ignoring this drive because this drive has been assigned to drive 9. It's, no, it's ignoring the D8050 drive because I've been using this, this bypass bus to, um, to take advantage of the 1571 speed with the B128 computer. Um, it just sometimes it makes it easier if you want to use a, a 1571 disk, um, you know, to transfer files from a Commodore uh, 64 type system. Okay, you can see how quickly that was to do the formatting. It's already done in real time. So now when I do a directory command, which is F8, boom, pretty good, huh? So it's just a, just a little trick here, just to. Um, to use a computer. Now I still have drive 9 up and running so if I want to do a directory where I gotta flip the switch down and then repeat my command directory space on u9. So I get technically I wouldn't have had to have done that but uh, you can see here now I'm reading the directory off the hard drive again so what, what we're doing is we're operating as a uh, drive 9 hard drive with the 1571 to actually load programs if I wanted to. Now of course I could just be doing that on the 8050 but I think that uh, just for the purposes of this demonstration show the versatility of the B128 you can do an awful lot of cool stuff. This is uh, an example of a, a little song I put into the um, on, stored it onto this hard drive that will um, play a song from the B128 SID chip a speaker over there. Pretty cool. So there you go, a 